baby, let them hoes sleep Body on to make your girl OD I get in my way, never out of my lane Back to Georgia, back to Atlanta. Money, I'm present to us. Good morning, loves, and welcome or welcome back to another vlog. Y'all, I could have sworn that I plugged my camera up last night and it's on 39%. This is crazy. But right now, I am headed to Cafe Belly, I believe that's how you pronounce it, or Belly. Um, it's in Hateville. I am going to have a little Sunday morning chit chat with my friend. Um, it's like a, I want to say speakeasy. It's a brand new coffee shop. It's really pretty on the inside. And at nighttime, it turns into like a cocktail bar. So it's really, really nice. Um, something different for that area and I'm excited to go. So we're going to head over there and then afterwards I have to do Walmart. Um, do a little stuff at Walmart. I have to pick up my groceries for I think about three days or so. Because I'm getting ready to head out of town. But I don't have anything, any food at all for my um few days of work that I have left um, I'm not taking any extra days off or anything like that I'm just going on my normal five days off so gonna go do that and y'all it's just it's been a lot this last week was crazy everything you think happened happened um I did not get to vlog because I had to meet my quota my work quota that I set for myself like I said financial goals and stuff for myself and um, hourly work goals and if I don't meet those goals then we have a problem so I met my goal yesterday at the very last minute, but a win is a win. So I got that out of the way and then working on a Saturday. Crazy. That's crazy. I can't believe I did that for that many years. And then finally got Saturdays off and now I gotta go to work because I made a poor decision of sleeping in some of the days of the week. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um I am I have to do a few more things. What is it today? I don't know if I'm gonna get to film a content video. I really wanted to get this content video out. I have, I was going through my journals and stuff. Um, I was looking for my Clever Fox uh, binder because I feel like the process of me writing my bills and stuff down on a piece of paper and just throwing it away afterwards is horrible and I need to be able to track and see what I've been spending and what I've been doing more close, uh, more closely. So I was looking for that and I ended up finding this journal. And this journal was dated in 2021 and it was 100 video topics for my self-care self channel, which is this channel, which y'all can see I've only been doing vlogs because I've been doing the bare minimum. The vlogs have been good, but I need to be putting out content, content, not just vlogs. So I'm gonna take a step back from the vlogs and start pumping out um, content videos, especially as the season changes because fall is my favorite, y'all know that. Um, but I have that book, so I'm gonna go through that and pick out a couple topics and see what I can film today. And if not, this is really going to be a short, um, September is not going to be jam-packed for me as October because I'm preparing for October. So September, it'll be videos, but it won't be as much as it normally is. But October is full force because, baby, October is up. So yeah, I will come back and talk to you when we get to the coffee shop. Um, I have to charge my camera the way they, all the way there. I have about 20 minutes left. So I will see y'all when I see y'all. You want a bad one yeah. Well, baby, I'm as bad as they come Said you want a hot one yeah. Yeah. You with the hottest under the sun But be careful what you wish for Make you eat your words If I'm more than what you buy Hey, loves, so what's up? What's poppin'? What is good? So I'm back home As you guys can see, looking for a wine opener I don't know where But, um, so I went to the place earlier that I showed you guys, Cafe Belly. This is my thing. People get on Instagram and they find these spots. They're cute given the aesthetic is a vibe. Very, very nice. As far as the coffee, the coffee was a three out of 10. Customer service, I give them a seven, six, five, four, three out of 10, to be honest. So we had an issue where we were there before um, 12 o'clock. When I first got there, I went up front and I asked them like about the drinks. What drinks are they serving right now? He was like, we're only serving Bailey's and um, mimosas. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm back to the table with Seal, told her. We chit chat a little bit, got um, lost track of time, and then we decided to go up there to the front again to find, um, to order our food or whatever. The food was there, the cheese sandwich, I didn't eat the whole thing. It was good though, but it wasn't like something I would go back to. 
and the coffee wasn't either. But in the mean, meanwhile, so we were trying to get mimosas. Well, I was trying to get mimosas, and they were, the guy was like, hold on one second. So he went to the back. I guess he went to get a manager, and she has to come explain to us that they don't sell alcohol before 12. I'm like, that's funny because I've seen other people over there with alcohol. Mind you, they were not, they were not what we were. So I'm like, hmm, okay. So um, then I was explaining to her, I was like, yeah, well, I'll take such and such. And she was like, come on with your order. And then Sue was like, come on, we're waiting on you. I'm like, I don't care, y'all know how I am. So, waiting on her, da da da, waiting on me. Finally picked something, I was like, eh, I just go with espresso and oat milk. You can't get that wrong. The espresso has to be bomb and use oat milk, y'all. Drink was not good. So then Sue was like, as we were leaving, um, the guy was like, that was easy or something like that. What do you mean by that was easy? Do you think because we're black we're gonna get problems to show out in there because you said I couldn't get a mimosa? I could have easily went somewhere else, but it was a principle. But the place is really cool. Um, I said I would go back uh, for cocktail hour, but, but I don't even know. The cocktail's probably not even all that, but the place is cute. So if you wanna go take pictures, get some good content, that's a really cute spot to go do photo shoots and stuff like that. But I'm about to have me some wine. I just cooked Sunday dinner. Um, this is the Sip South wine that I got from when I worked with uh, Allocate Naturals at the Black Coffee Fest. This is their Abundant 7 Sweet Red Wine. Um, it's 10% per volume. You can actually buy it online at sipandsharewines.com. Um, I'm the, I think, is he, I don't know if he's the owner, but the distributor, distributor that I got this from is black. So yeah, definitely support a black business. And then I just meal prep some shrimp, broccoli, and carrots. And I got four meals and then one in the fridge. So yeah, I did my meal prep. I'm about to have wine and watch YouTube for the rest of the day, y'all. Literally doing absolutely nothing else today because it's Sunday and we go to work tomorrow. So, yeah. Hey, loves. What's up? What's popping? What's good, y'all? I look crazy because I literally just woke up. Um, this morning I went to do car stuff. Um, I went and got. Brakes, brake fluid exchange, um, a tire, and an oil change, and it cost about eight hundred dollars. And I had a little attitude, and I had to get gas. And I still like, I was like, forget it. I was just go get my emissions test and my um tag when I wake up, y'all. Sleepy much? I go on a trip tomorrow. I'm just going home for the weekend. Um, my little cousin is getting married, and I'm probably gonna add it in. A vlog I'm not sure if it's gonna be this vlog or I may just do a separate vlog I don't know but I'm going to Florida for my cousin's wedding um, I leave in the morning at 6 o'clock right now it is 3 45 I'm getting ready to open my packages I'm going to happy hour so I'm gonna pack um, here shortly I'm just gonna be home for two days literally doing nothing absolutely nothing major just well the major thing I is I'm going home for is the wedding but after that nothing else so um, I'll probably get my parents to meal prep my food for me to be honest for the week too and yeah, y'all, that's all I'm doing. So um, I was like, let me come over my packages and talk to them because the vlog this morning, I wasn't talking. The amount of money I spent this morning had me sick. And to think if I would have just put that money on my car, my car would be literally pennies left to pay off. Upset about it, but at least the car sounds fine. Um, the rotors were like scraping. Um, they were warped. So when I was driving, I kept feeling like, like if I go up a hill or something, or if I go a little too um, fast, it was like a, like a large, like a, it was kind of not like large, but it was like a really loud vibration sound. Like the tire wheel was getting stuck. It was sounding horrible. So glad that's over with. But um, I got a package today from Man to Sleep. Y'all know I'm a self care girly, even though y'all haven't seen a lot of self care on this page as of yet. Baby, please believe it is coming. Um, so Mansa Sleep is a self-care company and they focus on making masks to enhance your sleeping. Um, this is a sleep sound mask. So it is a razor thin Bluetooth headphone, bla uh, blackout and zero eye pressure, C-shaped eye cups, eye cupped mask. Their motto is sleep better anywhere, anytime. And I'm gonna take this on the road with me, honey. Um, let me open it. I should have my other cutter, y'all, but. Okay, now. Open. And my voice still sounds sleep. Okay, so. This is the um, speaker. And you adjust the volume by um, moving it up and down this way. It's very lightweight. This is what it looks like. Let me, um. 
didn't wanna take that off. But to wash it, you would just take this part off. So the front piece comes all the way off. And yeah, so this is what the eye mask looks like. You have your power button, also your volume controls, as well as on the side as the loud, the power and the um, lower. It's really soft, so soft. I can't wait to use it. And it also comes with a um, some stickers that says proudly for uh, pro nap, and another sticker that says man to sleep and then it has um instructions that come with it how to wash it um it comes with this really nice case that you can um keep it in and then it also comes with the charger and i guess an adjustable strap which i'm not sure what this is used for and then the charger so real cute shout out to man to sleep for sending this to me I'm excited to enhance my sleep because y'all, I could just imagine like using this and having my rain sounds on because it's Bluetooth that it connects to your phone instead of having the rain sounds on the TV, just have this on my ears. Oh my God, this is a good little tool. So I'm gonna try this out on the road trip and I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes because I'm gonna give me some good sleep. and happy Monday y'all I look rough because guess what I went home I was fine I was still sick came back sick again I'm like you know what I'm over this so I look a little rough um part of my hair it has to last me two more weeks I haven't laid my edges are boosted but just literally just woke up but I got a lot of stuff to do today um I stay home because I didn't feel well I'm off anyway today and I didn't feel well and I needed to do everything that I had to do well that I have to do because the last time you guys saw me was probably Thursday, so we went to Chef J. Rob's happy hour. It was, I give it a six out of 10. It was not really, um, the food was decent. The food wasn't seasoned enough for me, but the, one of my drinks was perfect. The second one, like the pina colada mojito that you guys saw me have, it was not good. So the bartender was kind of inconsistent, but other than that, it was it was okay. It was a good vibe. I would go back for drinks, and they do have like $25 hookah online. I think it's Tuesday through Thursday, so I'll go back for hookah and drinks, to be honest. But um, after that, we went to Permanent Mall. I got to check out the new mango. I look for some stuff in Zara. Um, Y'all know your girl's big day is coming up and I'm having a, um, a shing ding. So there's a lot of stuff that I have to get left. Um, well, not really, because I write that while I was home. Um, so I was really looking for something to wear, but I ended up ordering my outfit offline, um, I think while we were driving down. Um, Savannah actually drove down, so we ended up going to Florida the next day. My cousin, my first cousin, um, Elsie married one of her very close friends. Y'all, Polk is a really small place, it's crazy. But yeah, they all went to the same childhood church, so yeah, we got to meet up with a lot of people that we knew from back home. Um, I got to see all my family, except for one of my brothers. My older sister was actually in town too, so I did not vlog, y'all. The only thing I did vlog, I did like Insta story vlog, was when um, me, my mom, and Naomi, well, Naomi, my mom, and I, we went to the downtown Lakeland Flea Market. Um, it was pretty fun. I got a couple things from there. I'll show you guys. Um, and then I think I vlogged the same day when we went to um, the Lakeland Discount Store, which is, if you live in um, Lakeland, there's a huge discount store. It's right off Combi. It has a lot of things. Some things may be out of date, but you have to look for the date. It's like a warehouse, kind of like the ones they have in Atlanta where they have all this stuff in surplus. Real good vibes. Um, I got some, I ended up just getting some bar things, like chasers and stuff like that, that I think they may, they may be expiring in like two months or so, but that's all I got. I didn't get any food or anything like that. But from the market, well, from the um, farmer's market, my mom does have this favorite store called Twisted Soap Bar. Um, I'm not sure where they're located, but I know they do different events. They do have their Instagram, it's Twisted Soap Bar as well. But my mom was itching for me to try her incense, so she bought me some. Mom bought me a lot of stuff this weekend too, y'all. This is her earthen, earthen oak um, incense. Oh, she's located uh, at uh, 303 Third Street Northwest in One Haven. So she's located in One Haven. And they smell so good. Like, I'm choking because they smell good. It smells like um, wood and, what is it called? Yude or owl or whatever, however. It smells really good. Um, and then, let's get the rest of the stuff my mom got me, too. 
so we also went to the liquor store. By the way, y'all, um, this liquor store we go to at home, there's not really a name to it. It's off Convy in Lakeland as well, but it's located right next to Harvey's. Um, he was telling me that White Hennessy is now legal in the United States. They passed the bill where it'll be available um, this week. So if you guys see it in your liquor store, um, you can definitely cop White Hennessy. Um, but once it's gone, it's gone. Y'all know, if you know anything, White Hennessy is not sold in the United States because it's not um, aged at the particular bears, bear, barrels that the United States requires. So that's why it's not sold over here. But um, they're allowed them to bring it in for this one brief period of time. And I'm pretty sure everybody's going to have it. Everybody's going to be taxing. And y'all know you can only really get it when you go out of country on a cruise and stuff like that. So I'm about to rack up. But um, I end up going there. Let me show y'all this box. Look how big this box is, y'all. Crazy. This is all the stuff my mom got me. I have to put it in this chair. So also from the farmer's market, I forgot to show y'all these. These are freeze dried lunch. I got these for my October cocktails. So I will be doing some cocktails um, throughout October for Halloween and these will be perfect for them. Um, I got some Kahula. This is the variety pack. So it has, let's see, it doesn't really say all the flavors on the front, but I have to have it because I love a good espresso martini. Oh, so it's five in here. It has the mocha, French vanilla, Hopefully it's focusing. Hazelnut. I'm just it's imported. That's the regular one. And then the regular one too, I guess it just says imported. So I think these are two the two regular ones. But yeah. That's that one. Also got put this pineapple juice in here like this. I forgot it was in here. Mango pineapple, this is her favorite and she was definitely gonna try it. I think I've had it before with, at home with her, it's pretty good. This is um, pineapple juice and mango juice together. Mind y'all, this is all bar stuff. Um, me and Savannah's mom and Savannah, cause I spent my first date, my first few hours there with them cause we rolled down together and I was like, oh mom, get off. So we went and got our toes and stuff done and went to the liquor store. And I got some uh, De Serrano or De Serrano, how you pronounce it. Um, it's an Italian liqueur. I use it for um, Amaretta Sour, which is my brother fa brother's favorite drink. As y'all can see, this is all I drank the whole weekend, pretty much. Um, and I did share, so don't think I drunk half the bottle. Um, some sour mix. She got me my favorite, some white jam, I mean, some red jam jar. Um, and then this, this is pretty new there too. The, um, it's from Smoke Lab. It's a classic vodka made from basmati um, rice and spring water in India. So this would be a cute, cool little addition to add to my bar. And it is very, very strong. So we saw this and um, the owner get, let us sample it and we liked it. So got a full bottle. I opened my, she opened hers. And then, what else is in here? Um, and then this, so the owner was saying that a lot of bars come and buy this because it's cheaper to do this instead of buying all the liquors you need from Long Island, which is kind of smart. So it's Barton's Long Island iced tea. All you do is add um, sweet and sour mix and cola, which you guys see I have sweet and sour mix over there. And then I have some Coke in the fridge. So it includes, it's 37.5% um, it's alcohol by volume. That's crazy. But it has rum, gin, vodka, tequila, triple sec, and other natural flavors. Um, it tells you how to make it. You can make it by the pitcher or by the glass. So by the glass, you fill an eight ounce glass with ice, add two ounces of the um, iced tea, fill with sweet and sour mix and a splash of Coke, stir and garnish with um, a cherry. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, I would probably put more than that. I thought you fill a whole cup up with it. We'll see how it works. I'll let you guys know. That's it for the bar stuff. Um, I got some PR, I got some is PR from the Inky list. Box is cute. So they came out with this um, lip pump, lip, lip plumper that clinically, clinically is proven to visibly plump lips in two weeks. <clears throat> so this is the um, flyer, tells you how to use it. And this is the product, so I'm, Definitely gonna try this. I like a little ting and lip gloss. Yeah. It says for best results, 
um, use consistently three times a day. So thank y'all for that. And then I ordered this <clears throat> from Amazon, Clever Fox, y'all. My friends and I, um, we're doing a savings challenge. So we all bought stuff from Pinterest. When it arrives, I will definitely show you guys. And we also all got the Clever Fox, Clever Fox budget planner, a budget planner. Why can't I talk today, y'all? So I got it in a medium. I was hoping it was a little bit bigger, but it's cool. Um, it's vegan leather. It's an undated monthly budget planner. It comes with um, a few flyers. It comes with two things of stickers. And it comes with um, an insert on telling you how to use it. So you start off with your financial goals and then you go to the monthly calendar. This is what I'm mostly excited about, putting my bills on the monthly calendar. Um, expense trackers, holiday budgets, regular bill trackers, and summary of the year. So yeah, it's a pretty cool um, budget blind binder. I've used a smaller one before. The one that didn't have the spirals, it was okay. But this one I'm more excited because I can bend it and it looks like more of my speed. So it has um, quotes. This one was the one I really liked. The goal isn't more money, the goal is living life on your own terms. This is a page I really bought it for, so I could do a spreadsheet. And then um, it just has your monthly budgets, all your bills that put them in like different categories, home, food, healthcare, loans, entertainment, personal, and they have an expense tracker. I'm not that disciplined to use an expense tracker, but to those of you who are, they have that in there. So yeah, that is everything that I have so far. I have to show y'all this corner, y'all. The party corner is getting crazy. We got our check sodas. Um, these are the juices. These are the um, drinks that I told you got from the store. I can only find this in Florida. It's pineapple and coconut dough. So good. And then I got all my candy milks. And y'all, look what's that. Strawberry cream savers. I found them at Michael's. And these were like buy two, get one free. That's why I have them. I have um I got all the colors that I need for the event. Um, I got my Rice Krispies treats from Costco. This was a really good buy. This was like eleven dollars for 60 bars. So yeah, they got my gym dress up. Then this box has literally everything, and I have it sorted by like the treat table, the outside bar, um, the inside, everything that I need. And then y'all, we got the check sodas yesterday. So I got strawberry, tropical island, pineapple, and peach. But yeah, y'all, my mouth is dry because I have been rambling, rambling. I have to um, get some stuff together to cook. Um, we went grocery shopping last night when I came back. Um, I went to storage, didn't grocery shopping, then I came home after being on the road for six hours. So I was a bit tired. Um, so I just knew I wasn't gonna make it today. But um, I'll show you guys the stuff that I got. I just got groceries for one meal. Um, um, my meal of this week is gonna be chicken thighs, fresh green beans, and sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna do those. Um, I do have my dough smoothie bowls. And then I got some true fruit, y'all. True fruit is a buy one, get one free for the first time ever at Publix. And I just got two bags. I just got my cherries. Because that's really the only one that I really eat now is the cherries. Um, the strawberries are good. They're a little sweet for me now. But the dark chocolate cherries is something about them. Those are my new favorites. I should see what was on my face, but those are my new favorites. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. So I probably I need to do a Walmart order or go to Walmart. Have to go to Party City. I'm not sure if I'm going to Party City today or if I am going to wait until I'm off on Sunday to go. But that would kind of be pushing it. So I probably should go today because Sunday would be the week of, and that's and that's a little close, so. Probably go to Party City, but I'll let you guys know everything that I do today. Of course, I'll take you guys with me. Haven't edited any YouTube videos or anything like that, so I need to get onto that. It's just a lot of stuff that I have been um, off track on because listen, y'all, people be fighting silent battles and just, you gotta be patient with people, okay? So yeah, people is me, so. That's what I'm about to do. All right, y'all, so everything is now on the bar. This is the white Hennessy that I was telling you guys about. I have a full bottle that's definitely not open it until I get another one. But um, I have literally everything on the bar. Fakas, Hennessy. No, I don't have, the Hennessy's in the room. Um, Tennessee whiskey. Um, I have some, a couple of Jamaican rums, the white and the dark. 
some bushwhacker, some tremana. We got all kind of vodkas, tequilas, rums, coffee liqueurs, more rum. Um, yeah. And then I have all of my, I try to keep like my triple sex and stuff down here on this side and out of the way. And I got some Bailey's back there, some syrups, Malibu. I don't really drink Malibu like that. And it's kind of weak. So I just I always keep some for like make drinks, but it's on the back burner. April, we have jam jars all lined up. The bar ends, whoop shots back there. A little sour, a little, um, Vodka. This was the first brand that I worked with maybe like four years ago. The Bake Sale brand for the chocolate chip cookie liqueur. I still have that bottle. It's just a part of me. I can't drink it all. I get rid of it because it's so sentimental to me. Um, some champagne, uh, 99 peaches, like I said, whoop shots. And that's pretty much the entire bar. So unpack that. Now we got like the suitcase to go.